there was this asteroid uh, that collided with Earth uh, over uh, Chelyabinsk in the Soviet Union, in Russia, sorry. That was visible to everybody in broad daylight, and you had to like avert your eyes when it happened, and they felt a shockwave, and the shockwave broke windows and sent nearly a thousand people to the hospital. Does Earth still have a chance? Asteroid Apophis is heading for Earth. What will happen when this asteroid crashes into the sea off the west coast of the USA is shocking. Neil deGrasse Tyson warns that this terrible day is coming and that we must expect far-reaching consequences. Within a few hours, the entire west coast of the USA would be destroyed. The damage would reach astronomical levels and millions of people would have to be evacuated from coastal cities such as Santa Monica, San Francisco and Los Angeles. What else should we expect? And could an asteroid of this size even destroy the entire Earth? It will hit the Earth 13 years later. It'll hit Earth 500 kilometers west of Santa Monica. So it doesn't matter where it goes through the keyhole, whether it go through center or whether it through other places within that keyhole, it just shifts the impact point further into the Pacific or closer to North America. On April 13th, 2029, the asteroid Apophis will come within about 31,000 kilometers of Earth, closer than the orbits of most satellites. In 2004, a 20% certain impact was briefly predicted for Apophis. Then, the all-clear was given. But the danger is not over yet. Neil deGrasse Tyson explained the keyhole scenario in a startling interview. If Apophis hits this keyhole, it will most likely hit the Earth on its next visit. The popular astrophysicist paints a gruesome picture of the hours and weeks after the impact. <clears throat> I've heard you talk about Apophis. Now, we just talked about uh, smaller asteroids. Uh, House-sized house asteroids. House-sized asteroids. Hitting the atmosphere, some if they are metal. Oh, by the way, I don't mean like Bill Gates-sized houses. They're like regular people houses. Regular people houses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they would, uh, some would break up, some being more bound tightly or being more tightly bound would continue on. Yes. Now, with that in mind, how big would an asteroid like Apophis be? And since these house-sized asteroids would not wipe out Earth, what would be an extinction-level event? Ooh. Apophis, we know how big Apophis is. Oh, we do. So it's not how big Apophis would be, it's how big is it? It's about 300 meters across, and if you, if you sort of measure that out, with a, a, a corresponding sizes of structures. It's about the size of the fully open Rose Bowl in, wow. in Pasadena. So the field plus all the seats, that would plunk nicely into that like an egg sits in an egg cup. Oh, yeah, so uh, that would, uh, if that hits, it would, uh, the most likely place it would hit would be the Pacific Ocean, and it would raise a 50 foot tsunami that would wipe clean the west coast of North America. Have a nice day. <laughs> <It's> okay, <laughs> but no one has to die because we, we would predict when this happens. We would know it. This is the good thing about the laws of physics. You can predict the future nice. right, in ways that protect your life. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson, the asteroid will trigger a massive tsunami that will simply wash away the west coast of the USA. We must fear that the asteroid could cause damage amounting to a trillion dollars and that our planet would suffer from the after effects for several years. Initial calculations have predicted the impact point to be fairly certain to the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Southern California. Only 500 kilometers west of the metropolis of Santa Monica, a monster wave up to five stories wide would roll towards the west coast with enormous destructive force. Calculations show that the water would travel half a kilometer inland. That doesn't seem like much at first, but when we consider the dense development on the west coast, the scale of the threat quickly becomes clear. Famous metropolises, expensive villas, unique stretches of coastline, and luxurious hotel complexes would be washed out to sea, as would countless houses in residential areas close to the coast. As we would warned, the number of fatalities would limited, but the damage and cleanup work could plunge the USA into a deep crisis. But would the disaster have an impact on the rest of world? This cannot be ruled out, as we have virtually no idea what chain reactions impacts from larger asteroids can trigger. Researchers have given the all clear for 2029 for the first time, and Apophis will supposedly not hit us in 2036 either. However, 
one scientist wanted to play it safe and took another look at the asteroid and the orbit calculation. What he found out is shocking. Two researchers from the University of Western Ontario in London, Canada, and the University of Waterloo in Canada did not trust the piece. Apophis's orbit and real danger posed by this projectile gave the two researchers no peace of mind. Paul Weigart and Benjamin Hyatt are experts in the field of asteroid and comet research and they warn against jumping to conclusions. There are enough scenarios that could push a near-Earth object like Apophis onto a collision course after all, as early as 2029. Among other things, they have analyzed what happens if Apophis collides with another asteroid and its trajectory is changed as a result. A quote from Benjamin Hyatt, there is a risk of deflection from its current trajectory and given how close Apophis will fly to Earth, this could bring us closer to impact. Hypothetically, Apophis could collide with another asteroid in space at any time, causing such a deflection that the impact does occur. For their hazard analysis, the research team carefully examined the orbits of 1.3 million known asteroids in the solar system. This means that 1.3 million objects could theoretically collide with Apophis and change the scenario to our disadvantage after all. Hyatt and his colleague fed their computers with the orbit of all these known asteroids and created the most detailed asteroid computer simulation of all time. The first thing that came as a relief was that the calculations showed no expected orbital intersections between Apophis and other asteroids. Fortunately, the orbit is very likely to remain the same, with Apophis narrowly missing us in 2029 and 2036. However, the keyhole scenario remains, which other researchers are urgently warning against. What exactly do we know about asteroids, their trajectories, and the risk of impact? The calculations of trajectories and all our technology lull us into a certain sense of security. Nevertheless, we know frighteningly little about asteroids and their impacts on Earth. We humans have not witnessed any serious impacts for thousands of years. However, an alarming number of smaller asteroids have snuck up on us without anyone noticing until they appeared in the sky over cities or regions. In 2013, an asteroid appeared over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk without any warning. The chunk, which was only about 20 meters in size, exploded while still in the air, and the shockwave shattered the glass in most of the buildings in a city with 1.1 million inhabitants. People suffered severe cuts from the glass, and quite a few were in shock. The horror was suddenly there, and no asteroid warning could have prevented it. It must have been similar in 1908, when an asteroid about 50 to 60 meters in size fell over Siberia and destroyed 2,000 square kilometers of forest. The force of the asteroid caused an explosion that knocked down millions of trees and forced them to the ground, so we can vividly imagine what a 370-meter asteroid would do. In a publication in the Planetary Science Journal, other researchers warn of possibility that Apophis could still hit us. If the asteroid hits a very specific keyhole, its path would be deflected in 2029 in such a way that it would hit the Earth on its next flyby. The keyhole is a specific region in space where gravitational interactions between the asteroid and the Earth could change Apophis dramatically. If an asteroid flies right through this keyhole, Earth's gravity could pull the chunk onto a collision course. The concept of the keyhole is based on precise calculations and models that show how the gravity of a planet, in this case the Earth, can influence the path of a nearby object such as an asteroid. However, the risk of Apophis flying right through this keyhole is extremely small. Nevertheless, Apophis's path can change and we must be prepared for this. It was about time, since the 1990s, a planetary defense initiative has been forming worldwide. In an emergency, we must be prepared and the nations of the world must stand together to protect our planet. If an asteroid the size of Apophis were to hit the Earth, the impact would be enough to devastate the entire west coast of the USA. But the scenario goes even further. 
Further tsunamis could hit island states in the Pacific. If an asteroid of this size hits land, the destruction would be extensive. The force of the impact on land would have a completely different effect. The pressure wave could destroy hundreds of square kilometers, trigger fires, and lead to a chain reaction. If the Earth's crust is shaken in sensitive areas, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes could be a devastating consequence. Apophis is relatively small at around 370 meters in diameter, but much larger chunks are on the move in space. If asteroids with diameters of several kilometers hit us, we would have to reckon with global consequences. The asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was around 15 kilometers wide. It crashed into the sea off the north coast of Mexico, triggering a shock wave, fires, tremors in the Earth's crust, tsunamis, and a climate catastrophe. Rocks, ash, and toxic fumes hurled into the atmosphere spread rapidly around the globe. The sky probably darkened for weeks. It became cold, the vegetation changed, and fires raged directly around the point of impact. The asteroid could have ripped open the Earth's crust, and the entire North and South American continents were probably in shock for months, if not years. If an object of this size is on approach, our entire civilization would be at risk. NASA and other space organizations have launched dedicated asteroid research projects to study these mysterious objects and protect us. The OSIRIS probe flew to the asteroid Bennu to collect rock samples. Following the successful mission, OSIRIS made its way to Apophis. The DART probe was guided directly to a small asteroid in order to change its orbit. The experiment was successful and there is reason to hope that in an emergency, we will be able to push an asteroid out of its deadly orbit. The Japanese contributed the Hayabusa 2 probe, which has even dropped exploration probes and robots on an asteroid. So now, what are we to make of a rock named after the Egyptian god of the underworld and destruction? The asteroid that was given this terrifying name was discovered on June 19, 2004 by astronomers Roy A. Tucker David J. Thalen and Fabrizio Bernardi at the Kitt Peak National Observatory. In the underworld mythology of the Egyptians, Apophis was a dark, demonic serpent who, as an enemy of sun god Ra, lured poor souls into ruin and chaos. When the astronomers gave their discovery this name, it seemed for a few weeks as if Apophis was on a direct impact course. The warnings for 2029 were issued with an impact risk of around 20%, but were then quickly correctly corrected. Since then, researchers around the world have been preparing for the fateful flyby of the Brocken in 2029. This close contact is eerie. After all, Apophis will come closer to us than any other asteroid in the last hundred years. This will be a unique opportunity for observation and research. Asteroid researchers Benjamin Hyatt and Paul Weigart will certainly be pointing their telescopes and keeping a close eye on this mysterious visitor. During their work, Hyatt and Weigart came across another interesting object that has been somewhat forgotten. 4544 Xanthus is an asteroid that made headlines in October 1989. At the time, the rock was discovered by astronomers who gave it a name from Greek mythology. Xanthus was one of the horses that pulled Achilles' chariot in the Trojan War. Xanthus turned out to be a near-Earth asteroid and belongs to the Apollo asteroid group. This group of asteroids is characterized by orbits that can regularly cross the Earth's orbit. With 4544 Xanthus, a completely different dimension flies past us as this asteroid is estimated to be one to two kilometers in size. Xanthus is considered extremely difficult to observe, and all we know about it so far are approximate estimates. Although Xanthus is not currently at risk of orbit, it orbits the Sun at a distance that could bring it and about a dozen other dangerous objects close to Earth at any time. Subscribe to the channel now if you want to see more amazing videos.